Hi nerds and welcome to Vlogmas week three. I can't believe we're nearly there. It's nearly Christmas. It is Monday the 14th, so day 14 of the vlog. And I just have my little friend Tilly here. I have spoken about her on my Instagram before, but I just wanted to kind of show you how I groom her. She has got a really wonky front leg, so that makes it quite difficult for her to just kind of bear weight on it. And if I just have her sitting up like this while I trim her face, she will just constantly shift her weight from one foot to the other and it makes it really difficult to actually trim her. So I'm just gonna get her body clip and then I will show you guys what I do. Okay, so as you can see, I have Tilly just lying on the table every time I groom her face. It's just so much more comfortable for her and it makes my life easier and I don't have to worry about nicking her with my scissors when she shifts her weight. And she's so used to it now that as soon as I finish clipping her body, she's pretty much like, right, I'm lying down now, it's FaceTime and then I can go home. Hey, where you going, darling? Except for today, of course, when I'm trying to film her. I do have a tutorial on the face shape I do on her. I'll just link it up in one of the corners so you can check that out. I just do a very basic sort of like a rounded face on her and then I take quite a generous amount of her ears and then and that's pretty much her done so I'm just going to speak through this But you can just see how she's constantly shifting her weight on there. That is what I meant when I said that I have her lying down because of it. It's just not comfortable for her, bless her. Okay, exciting news, exciting news. Ah, my secret Santa is here. I haven't opened it yet. I've just wanted to leave it, you know, so I can show it on camera. And then also my customer that I've just, you know, seen off has given me a little something. It feels like a box of chocolates or biscuits or something. So that's so nice. So. Oh, I can't wait to open all of these. Okay, I hope this angle is okay. I'm gonna open this little present for my customer first. Sorry if that's really loud. So I have got a little Christmas card. I'm gonna pop this out the front. Um, literally just says, to Maria, thank you for looking after Tilly. It's quite a cool card actually. I really like that. Right, okay. Ah. My goodness I love Ferrero Rocher oh my goodness it's a really cool box as well I'm not sure if you can quite see that it's got like a funny little pattern on the on the lid you can probably just about catch the reflection of the lights on it that's really cool that must have cost so much money that is so sweet of her okay hi from the floor I'm so sorry I was literally just reacting to the parcel as my camera died so I'm just sat on the floor I am plugged in so I can carry on so my little parcel had a bar of chocolate i absolutely adore this chocolate i do get it a lot over christmas so thank you but then oh my god i need to try and unwrap this one-handed just a second they got me a handmade key ring uh, there we go oh look at that it looks like bean that is so cute i absolutely adore it Thank you so much, my secret Santa. This is so sweet. If you wanted to grab one of these, it's an Etsy shop called Made By Me Little G. I will link the shop down in the description if you want to shop them. It looks like they do a lot of handmade personalized stuff. So it might be that my secret Santa went through my Instagram or my Facebook or something like that and grabbed a picture of Bean and sent it to them. But that is so adorable. Thank you so much. This is, oh. This is so cute. I have been with me everywhere I go now. Thank you so much. Good morning. It is day 15, Tuesday morning. I have a really nice busy day ahead of me. I actually have my Bath Eclair with me today. So we've got a dog in every single hour until two o'clock. And that two o'clock dog is gonna be my last one of the day. Really looking forward to it. I haven't seen Claire since some time in lockdown. We went for a nice socially distanced dog walk together. But yeah, other than that, I haven't really seen her. I was supposed to have her one day last week. 
but obviously because of having to reschedule all our dogs from November um, our other shop needed her which is fair enough because they had so many dogs to try and book back in um, and I kind of managed without her but today I finally get her and I'll see if she wants to be on camera she has been on camera briefly before when I did my Millie's conditioner review so she has done it before so we'll see if she's brave today but yeah it might be one of those days that I don't vlog a lot because I'll have like I have clear drying dog slide all the time while I'm grooming so we'll see how that goes and before I get going I just wanted to show this to you guys um, I've been getting emails and texts from DHL the delivery company saying that I've got something on the way and I'm like I haven't ordered anything what is this like really confused thinking that the emails are a scam like, have I just been hacked like that kind of stuff but it was actually Millie sending me a Christmas present I know it's a bit of an awkward thing to try and show up it is a clip it's like a um, waterproof like an apron thing that you can wear while you're working um it's like a it feels like a raincoat basically it's like a full frontal apron and then you tie it at the back and it's got like removable sleeves you know what let me just actually chuck this on quick okay so i'm trying to squeeze this onto the camera right so you get the idea it's like a fully covering apron and then you literally just tie it around the back like that and then it just keeps your if you're just wearing your normal clothes for example it just keeps your hair free and if you've got a massive dog in the bath it just keeps you dry and these sleeves are actually removable so in the summer when it's roasting hot you're not gonna die wearing this so thank you so much Emilies. this was so unexpected I you know it's not necessarily my color but I'm definitely gonna get loads of use out of this so thank you so much it was just as I thought I haven't had a chance to pick up the camera all day it's just been really noisy because Claire's obviously been blasting all day while I've been grooming and then the last dog of the day was this boisterous one-year-old Springer that's never been to a groomer's so he was screaming the house down and then I had to try and sort of wrangle him while I was grooming so it's now five past four in the afternoon so you know sorry about that today's vlog wasn't that interesting I'm literally just in the process of soaking all my bath slats so you know that's not very exciting either um if you did want to see how i deep clean all my bathing stuff i will link my deep clean video up in the corner for you guys so you can check it out i'm literally just doing exactly the same but today instead of say four i am using a bathroom cleaner with a bit of bleach in it just to see if i can lift some of this yellowy whatever is on these slats i like it just kind of looks like staining it's not Dirt. I've tried rubbing it off and it's just not going anywhere so I'm just letting it sit in some bleach for a little bit and see what happens good morning it is day 16 Wednesday yes it is Wednesday this is kind of my way of keeping track of days if I'm honest um last night when I got home if you follow me on Instagram you would have already seen this I do little sneak peeks and all that but I got my delivery of for all dog kind of shampoos I got their little like a taster pack it comes with all their four shampoos and also their little perfume come on focus um this cost 45 quid not not too bad um i'm gonna start reviewing the shampoos and hopefully i'll have the review up on my channel sort of uh, probably the first two weeks of january i'm trying to have it up as my first video of the year so i'm gonna try and have it up for the 10th of january that's the week i come back to work and that's you know when i'm gonna have all my stuff organized again um but i'm gonna get going i've got my next dog probably waiting already outside and i'm just nattering over here so i'll catch you in a bit okay i've just seen my first dog of the day out and i i got a little present again i'm so grateful for all of this especially after the year we've had this year you know a lot of people losing their jobs and being furloughed and all that i've just been happy to you know be able to groom dogs this year and it's so sweet that i've had so many nice presents and tips and all sorts from customers and this one is from the dog it's addressed from the dog which is really really sweet um it says merry christmas thank you for looking after me love chloe chloe is a little cocker spaniel and she comes in very regularly okay i'm just gonna get this parcel open one-handed see what i have oh oh <gasps> oh my gosh i love yankee candles oh my god 
Oh my God, this is incredible. Oh, this is amazing. Chloe's owner's probably not gonna watch this, but thank you so much. This is really sweet. Good morning, it is Thursday the 17th. Can you believe it? there is literally only a week until Christmas now and two weeks until New Year's? That is actually pretty terrifying when you think of it. Like, where has the year gone? Like, where has the month gone? Like, to, to start with, you know? Um, I have made a bit of a boo-boo with my booking today. I'm probably going to be an absolute wreck after I'm done with today. I booked in a very old Springer Spaniel, I think he is. Is he a Springer or Cocker? One of them, a Spaniel. Um, he needs a lot of help standing on the table. He doesn't do well on three legs, so when I'm trimming feet and all that, he's not that great. And... <laughs> Then I have a big golden setter who just flops on the table. I will, I will show it if that happens. It probably will. And then a doodle that takes me three hours. And she's always a lot of work because she's got a really tight curly coat. And despite the owner's best efforts, she's always a little bit not in places. I don't know why I've done this to myself, if I'm honest. But, you know, hey, -ho, I'll, um, I'll let you know how the day goes. Okay, first doggy's all done and waiting to go home. And I actually wanted to show you guys my new leggings. Exciting stuff, right? I have been on the hunt for like really nice work trousers for ages. And up until sort of a couple months ago, I've just been wearing leggings. I've got like Primark leggings that are sort of like swimsuit material. So they're really nice and hair resistant, but they're really thin. And you know, they don't really do anything for me. You know, I'm not exactly the skinniest person in the world. I've got my lumps and bumps and I kind of want them smoothed out a little bit, if you know what I mean. So I've been on a hunt for new trousers for a little while. I got some cheap ones from Sports Direct. They were amazing. They were so nice, so comfortable. I could just live in them. But on one of the pairs, the seams along the waistband start coming apart. And you know, that's not really good. Um, so I've kind of gone off wearing my other pair of them and then I ordered some really nice outdoor leggingsy jeans from a Swedish company called Revolution Race. Really expensive, they're like 60 quid a pair and that was on a Black Friday sale as well, so really expensive. They came, they didn't fit, they didn't look good on me, sent them back and I've gone back to my old faithful which is Fabletics and even these leggings are like 55 quid a pair and I've got two of them. So let me just show you guys. Okay, so they are literally just black leggings and they have a really nice sort of like a mesh detail on them and a pocket as well on both sides. And that's actually what I really wanted on my leggings, just to have a pocket on them so I can put my phone in, you know. Unfortunately, these leggings aren't hair resistant, but I can just blast them at the end of the day, so it's not a problem. And these are nice and thick as well, so I don't get cold. Now that it's really cold all of a sudden in December, I, I don't feel the cold and it's really nice, even with the mesh down the side. But yeah, I'm really pleased with these. When I first started grooming, like, over two years ago now, I was wearing my old Fabletics leggings. I've got so many pairs of them and they still look good as new, even though I've been wearing them to work and kind of put them through everything that happens in a salon on a daily basis. So yeah, I figured that I might as well give Fabletics a go again and see how I get on, but these feel so nice on and they, you know, they're kind of like tummy control and all sorts. So, you know, I'm really pleased with these. Guys, if you haven't tried these clipper aprons, you really need to. This is amazing. Like, it's literally all the way to my knees. And I have just bathed this creature over here. She's always a bit of an awkward one in the bath. She will climb the walls. She will shake, she's just awkward, always gets in the way. And I tend to always just get soaking wet while I'm bathing her. But today, because I have this apron on, I am completely dry. It's amazing. Sadly, the dog is quite matted today. The family have two golden setters. One of them has been spayed and the other one hasn't. And this one I have in today has been spayed and it has ruined her coat quite badly. So it's gone really wispy and quite hard to manage. So what I do with her, I clip her back with a seven and then I sort of just tidy up the feather in the skirt and all that, but she's really mattered today. So I, I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do with her, but you know, I'll, um, I'm gonna try my best. She's nearly ready. And apart from just this little section here, you can kind of see the owner said that he's cut off some bits as well, but you can see where I've had to take off a massive mat right there and inside her armpit and then 
that the front feathers are just a little bit janky. I'm trying to hide it the best I can. But other than that, I think she looks so right. Um, she stays quite natural. You can see another just there where the owner's been a little bit chop happy. <laughs> but yeah, she stays pretty natural. So I clip along her back and the top of the head and then just I just need to tidy her ears and she's ready. But for a spade, okay. Don't you dare kick my scissors off, darling. Uh, for a spade garden, she's doing pretty well with her coat in all fairness. It's just a little bit tangling. If it was down to me, I'd just have it all off in all fairness and start from scratch. But the owners are keeping on top of it pretty well. So, you know, I'm just chopping off the mats as we go. Right, I have my last victim of the day on the floor, just chilling. You will probably recognize her. Her name is Luna. And she was my lovely model for both my peanut and pickle and I believe my Millie's conditioner reviews. She always takes me about three hours start to finish because she has just a curly tight coat and it just is always hella. <laughs> Hi. It's always a little bit tangly. It doesn't matter how much the owner brushes, it's always just a bit knotty and I do her on a comb attachment so the comb attachments catch on her coat and everything. But to show you guys what I'm gonna use on her today. So I have a delightful selection of things. So my shampoo is gonna be forget-me-nots from Polza. I'm gonna need two bottles of that. Gonna get that rinsed off and then I'm gonna use the lap band conditioner by Peanut and Pickle. I've still got a little bit left in here. This actually worked really well on Luna's coat last time I used it on her and then for drying I'm going to spray some coat management spray by Julie Harris and see if that helps out as well. I don't actually have a lot left of this I need to get some more. Okay I better get started she's gonna take me all afternoon so I will catch you in a bit. My back is broken I hurt but she's all done and she's a good girl. It's a good thing she's such a sweet dog and she just stands there and she will literally just climb on the table on her own. Because if I had to spend three hours with a dog that doesn't like big groomed, oh, I don't even want to think about that. But that is my day pretty much done. I, I just need to clean up a mountain of hair, cash up, do all that usual stuff. And then probably just flop on the sofa when I get home and ask my other half to cook dinner. So... Not complaining, it's been a hard day. I don't know why I booked it like this, but you know, it was just one day, luckily. I will see you guys in the morning. Good afternoon, it is day 18, yeah, 18, Friday the 18th of December. I'm just waiting for my next dog to come in. I've got a bit of time to kill, so I just wanted to kind of like sit down and have a chat about Christmas. You know, Christmas is really busy for us, you know, from start of December all the way through to, you know, 24th or 23rd, wherever you stop working. And we do tend to, you know, obviously book in all our regulars months in advance because we know that it's going to get busy and we don't want our regulars to miss out on appointments. And then we get the last minute hopefuls coming in. Oh, can you groom my dog today? Or could you groom my dog between today and Christmas? You know, this is like a week before Christmas and they plead and beg and it's like oh can you just not squeeze my dog in he's only little and i actually read a really good post from the honest groomer on facebook i'll link it down below for you guys so you can have a read about you know the frustration that groomers have because of this you know we're already squeezing in extra dogs we're working extra days doing longer hours just to try and get as many people in through the door as possible so their dogs look really nice for christmas so when we have to say no it simply means because we don't have enough time in the day to groom their dogs you know and i've had lots of people calling in last minute saying oh my dog needs grooming before christmas she's desperate can you not get us in oh i've got family coming down over christmas could you not open one day over christmas for me it's I really wish people would take us more seriously and appreciate the fact that we are already really busy and respect it when we say no, I'm sorry, I'm fully booked already. Christmas comes the same time every single year. This is my third Christmas grooming now and I've had the same response from people every single year. And that's exactly why I wanted to start booking my regulars in early this year because I knew that I'd be so busy. And especially with the lockdown, we had to close for a month in November. I had to squeeze in a month's worth of dogs into an already busy December. So, you know, I didn't really have a lot of space anyway. And I hate turning people away. I wish I could groom all the dogs. There was someone who messaged me the other day on Facebook saying that, oh, we're just staying across the road. Could you fit us in for a brush? But I, d 
I don't know where to fit you. I'm so sorry. I wish I could. How are you guys doing with your Christmas bookings? Are you a bit sort of sparse or have you got lots of bookings, like too many bookings? Obviously, by the time this vlog comes out, it will be the Sunday before Christmas. So hopefully most of us only have a couple days left. But are you opening between Christmas and New Year's or not? Okay, leggings update. I've just done a t-shirt on a Dalmatian and I can confirm leggings are not hairproof. But on the plus side, I have a poodle coming in. At the minute, I don't have any poodles on my books. I did one just because they couldn't fit into our other shop and that was like months ago and it only had a lamb trim anyway. I'm kind of terrified the poodle's gonna be in a fantastic, like a continental or like anything but a lamb trim. I've never done one. Like I don't have the, I don't have any experience with poodles apart from doing a lamb trim because that's the only thing that's been asked of before. So wish me luck. I will let you know what the poodle is like. I do kind of hope it's a lamb trim, but equally I would love to learn how to do some other trim. So if there's already like lines of like some other cut, that would be awesome because I could get the practice and I could see how the lines go and all that. But you know, we shall see in a minute. Guys, I think I am in love. She's so little. Like, I knew that she was a toy poodle, but oh my goodness, she's the size of a teacup, aren't you, darling? She's just having a lamb trim and going very short as well. The owner was actually brilliant. She said that, oh yeah, we just have a four on her. So, you know, I even know a blade to use. So that's pretty nice. A little bit bummed that I'm not doing like a fancy cut, but equally relieved because I wouldn't know what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna get her in the bath and get her done. Good morning, day 19, Saturday the 19th of December. Week's nearly over, I cannot believe it. I know I keep saying this, but it just, it feels weird. Like we were planning on going Christmas shopping tomorrow to get like, you know, everything organized. And oh my God, it's nearly Christmas. It's, I don't know where the time is going, honestly. I didn't actually get a chance to vlog last night to show you the poodle. Oh, she's, she was so delightful, such a good girl. Just stood there, let me get on with things. The reason I didn't get around to filming anything was because my other half came to pick me up and brought Bean with him. Bean loved the little poodle, oh my goodness. He's such a social little dog. He loves literally everyone and everything. He was just happy to have some kind of contact with another dog. He doesn't really get to socialize a lot at the minute because of COVID, obviously. Got quite a busy day today. I'll see how much I can film. I have got a bit of a behavior one in last thing today. So I'll see how that goes. And then I've got the evening to myself. I'm just going to edit, get this vlog out actually on time so I can just chill tomorrow. But um, let's get going. Is it just me or is doing clean cooker feet the most satisfying thing in existence? I'll put the before up on the screen now. He was so hairy and quite overgrown and quite matted. Um, he missed his November appointment when we were shut. And when I was rescheduling the appointments for December, the owner decided that they're just gonna stick to their Christmas appointment. So he's probably about one and a half months overdue at this stage. So yeah, very hairy. Took me half an hour longer than he usually does as well because of it. But oh, look at those feet. Oh, and also, Jasper, I'm not sure if you can see it well, but look at his lashes as well. Aren't they gorgeous? I just wanted to introduce you to Molly here. She is a Glenovy Mild Terrier. Very rare. I don't think I've ever bumped into a single one of these guys outside of work and she is the only one I have on my books. She's a very lovely little girl. Absolutely loves coming in here. Just look at this gorgeous little face. Isn't she absolutely adorable? But yeah, I'd, I'd love to have more of these sort of rare breeds on my books, but you know, they're rare for a reason, I guess. Um, another sort of rare one I've had before is a Celium Terrier. Only saw the dog once, the dog was matted to the skin, so I had to take the coat off and never saw them again. I am going to leave this vlog here unless something very interesting happens with my next dog and I will put that right here. No, nope, all good. Wasn't an interesting afternoon. I will catch you guys next week. We're gonna get some Christmas shopping done tomorrow and then I'm just gonna get ready for the last three days of work. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you did like it, as you know by now, leave a little thumbs up because it really does help my channel. And if you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. It's completely free of charge and that just means that you don't miss my next upload. Bye, guys.